It's reeling under a record-breaking drought, the longest and most severe drought in recent history. It started in the month of June and shows no signs of ending. China's largest river, Yangtze, has dried up. The receding water levels have revealed three Buddhist statues. The emergence is being seen as an omen by some Chinese. Meanwhile, water supplies to dams and reservoirs have fallen. This has disrupted operations at hydro plants. The drought is killing crops too. The heat has scorched millions of hectares of agriculture land, leaving thousands of Chinese citizens in need of government support. More in this next report. This is the Yangtze, the world's third largest river, the most vital waterway to China's economy. It provides drinking water to over 400 million Chinese citizens. But this summer, the supplies are running low. The Yangtze has been reduced to puddles, with dozens of its tributaries drying up. This is the result of a record-breaking drought, the scale of which can be gauged by the appearance of these 600-year-old Buddhist statues. They were once submerged in the waters of the Yangtze. Today, they are soaking the sun. Some in China believe it's an omen. I hope the water level can go up naturally. I think the reason why our ancestors built this was because they wanted to pray for a peaceful world, a beautiful country. This is the Jialing River, a tributary of the Yangtze. It has been reduced to rock and pebbles. This is Poyang, China's largest freshwater lake. Right now, it's a desolate spectacle, with just a pitiful trickle of water left. These are images from the Guangdong province. Dead fish are floating in ponds here. The heat has left the earth scorched. In the Chongqing municipality, the heat is making crops wither. Taps are running dry. It's all scorched. The crops certainly cannot grow. The high temperature is slowly roasting them to death. It helps to look at some numbers to assess the scale of this crisis. In Chongqing alone, at least 66 rivers in 34 counties have dried up. Yangtze's main trunk is 50% below the average of the last five years. 2.2 million hectares of agricultural land has been scorched. $300 million has been incurred in economic losses. 2.46 million people have been left high and dry. 780,000 people are in need of government support. Average temperatures are hovering around 44 degrees Celsius. A nationwide drought alert has been issued. Observers say it may last till September and will worsen the ongoing energy crisis. You see, as rivers and lakes across China dry up, water flow to reservoirs and dams also drops. This has disrupted hydropower generation. Factories are facing electricity shortages. Many companies have been forced to halt work. Like Toyota, Foxconn and Tesla. In the last fortnight, some of their factories suspended operations temporarily, with no plans to restart production anytime soon. So how can the crisis be fixed? Most would pray to God for rain. But atheist China relies on science. It's looking at cloud seeding as a solution. It plans to use chemicals to generate rain. The problem is, messing with nature doesn't end well for most. China's experiences have been devastating for the world. But he is hoping that this artificial rain to fix the drought doesn't trigger a new flood of woes. Bureau Report, we on, world is one. We on is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.